Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and with the topic, the previous topic, the the topic of the previous video, but today with an example. All right. So in this question, we are asked to determine the Q point, and also V R. This what is V R? This is voltage across the resistor. All right. V R. So let me write it. This is across resistor. The values are given. V B from here we can calculate it. So this is basically V. This is R. This is voltage across the diode V D, and the current flowing is I D. Okay. So what do we have? Let's say I apply K V L. So V is equal to uh, V R and I R could be written as, and V R could be written as I D. Into R and plus the voltage across the diode VD. All right. So now this is again the same equation. So let me write it again as equation number one. So by putting uh, VD equal to zero, let's say first VD equaling zero, what happens? V is equal to IDR. So ID would be equal to V upon R. And by putting values, we have the values. V is equal to 10 volts, and R is equal to 1 kilo ohms, 10 to the power 3. So this would imply that ID is 10 milliamps. Is that fine? Now, now what you do? The next thing to do is putting ID equal to zero. So ID equals zero. So what happens? V would equal VD, which means uh, VD equals V is equal to 10 volts. It's given. All right. So now let me draw the load line. So let's say this value is 10 uh, volts, and this value is let's say 10 uh, what? milliamperes so I join these two together so let's say this is 10 volts okay so we have the Q point which is this one okay and now if you uh, draw it properly on a proper scale which I have drawn with myself on a, on a paper on a graph paper so this is wrong all right this i have drawn extremely wrong but if you draw it on a graph paper with a proper scale graph paper with a proper scale so you get the coordinates of the q point that is v would be equal to 0 0.8 and this uh, would be equal to 9.2 and let me check yes yes 0 0.8 and 9.2 and have a look over here so i'm getting something 0 0.9 or 10 or and this i'm getting 5 or something so you draw it with the proper scale so these are the coordinates of the q point all right and how do we represent the coordinate so whatever be the value at this point so v d is the value and we place a q in the subscript as well and similarly for the current we have an id is from before and q represents the q point okay so this is the the first part of the question determine the q point this was the first part and the second is uh, v r so we know that v r from ohm's law v r would be equal to i into r and i is what i is equal to, is the i d into r and we take the q current so this is 9.2 so i put the values over here so we have a 9.2 multiplied the value of the resistance is 1 kilo ohms so 1 into 10 to the power 3 so this would imply the voltage across voltage drop across the resistor vr is 9.2 kilovolts and this is wrong because <laughs> why is this kilovolts wrong because uh, this 9.2 is in milliamperes 
So we have a 10 to the power negative 3 with this 9.2 as well. So you have a 9.2 volts. This is the answer. So let me write down that this ID is in milliamperes and this VD is in volts. So that's about the load line analysis. In the next video, we see the resistance networks or, or either the diode equivalent circuits. I'm a little confused in the order, all right? So, but for this video, that's all. So see you in the next lecture very soon. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.